<laughs> Could work out. Could okay. work out. <laughs> All right. Unfortunately, our luck is running out weather-wise though tonight. Hi there. I was just just a quick joke there about the about the mega about the lottery. There. Yeah. I was going to say you say you left the tickets downstairs. There is no doubt no. that you would have that ticket in your hand right now if you had won. So that's why I said oh. you probably didn't win. I would put it in a safe somehow <laughs> if I knew I'd won. But more importantly, would you take? Me as your show friend you with love. you. Would you show me some love? I'd give you a little love, not you know a ton of love, but <laughs> s some love, some love. Not a, not so a I'm not retiring early. No, no, but I give you love. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. I'll accept that just a little bit. Yeah. Hey, beggars can't be choosers, so <laughs> I'll take it. But to a more serious note, the weather tomorrow. Yeah. Our luck is kind of running out because we'll have the threat for severe weather tomorrow, coupled with some dangerous heat around the area as we get into the afternoon. So yeah, it's going to be a busy weather day around the area. Here's what to expect. Expect. Dangerously hot conditions. First things first, it will be a dangerously hot day before we even get into the threat of severe weather for tomorrow afternoon and evening around the area. And we'll get a little reprieve from the intense heat and humidity on Thursday, but it's going to be very short lived because by the time we get into the weekend, we are cranking up the heat again and the humidity. It looks like a scorcher around here this weekend. So let's talk about tomorrow's severe threat. We do have a slight risk in place for the entire state it's a conditional threat because the computer models that we use to help forecast one camp says we're going to deal with volatile storms tomorrow the other says well you know what storms will develop over you but they really won't get nasty until they get just to your east with that said i think it's better to play it safe because it's hard to rule out severe weather when you're talking low to mid 90s temperatures tomorrow and a cool front in july it's almost impossible to get around. So that being said, I do think we run the risk of some storms with damaging winds tomorrow. And yes, it's lower, but there is the threat for a few tornadoes, maybe similar to what we had in Goshen. So again, the scenario is there and the ingredients are there for the potential for very volatile storms tomorrow afternoon and evening close to sunset. So after the peak of the afternoon. That means before we get any storms in here, we're going to have to deal with some dangerously hot conditions, a heat advisory in effect for most of the tri-state because heat indices are likely to top out. Well, you see them here between 100 and 105, and this is even at six tomorrow evening. So this will be before storms roll in, and it's this heat and this humidity that will serve as fuel for the potential severe storms. And you see them right here on Futurecast. This is the particular model I'm going with right now. But I tell you what, if this comes to actual truth, we will have some nasty weather around here tomorrow afternoon and evening, and it will be hard to get away from the threat of damaging winds. And yes, maybe even something more significant here. Here it is. Take you through 9 o'clock, take you through 10. 11. The good news is that by midnight it's out. So this isn't a prolonged severe weather event, but it's about four hours tomorrow evening where we need to be alert for potentially nasty storms. Outside here tonight, it's quiet, 77 degrees. We've got a south wind, and look at that dew point in the low 70s. Temperatures aren't going to drop much tonight, so we're in the mid 70s now. I think overnight tonight, will probably struggle to get into the low 70s by morning and then a very fast warm up tomorrow. I think probably by lunchtime heat in the seas are approaching 100 degrees. So mostly clear tonight, warm and muggy tomorrow. It's a weather impact day. Feels like it's hotter than 100 degrees and then we'll watch to see if the atmosphere unleashes any storms during the evening for us. So that will be what we're watching for tomorrow afternoon and evening. All right, your seven day forecast Thursday again brings us a reprieve from the most intense heat and humidity, but you see the weather impact icons up there for Saturday and Sunday. I know there's a lot of concerts this weekend, the Cincinnati Music Festival, be prepared to stay well hydrated as it will be a scorching hot late July weekend here in the tri-state. Kevin, thanks so much. Still ahead, the Bengals.